I was diagnosed with leukemia and I also needed a transplant. And unfortunately, since um, Jewish people are underrepresented in the registry, it was very difficult to find a genetically matched donor. It started out as a community campaign, and before long we had run hundreds of drives, tested up to 60,000 people. Although uh, four years later I still had not found a match, we were finding matches for lots of other patients along the way. It wasn't just a campaign to save one life, it was really a mission to save many. I think that a doctor tells you you got two years, four years, whatever it is, and this is your disease, and go travel and have a good time. And you say, the heck with that. And you happen to have a mother like Jay Feinberg's mother, who says, no way. And you go out and you fight. Becky Fabisoff turned out to be my perfect match. She was truly the last donor out of 60,000 donors. And then you not only get cured yourself, in an unreal miracle. But you say to your mother as you're in isolation in a hospital, if I live through this, I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to it. After my transplant in 1995, the campaign to save my life, which at the time was called Friends of Jay, transformed into Gift of Life. What the Feinbergs have done with this Gift of Life is opened up to us this tremendous opportunity uh, to share what we have within us, this is an intrinsic Jewish value, the value of life, and, and to share that precious gift with others. My family has been working with Gift of Life because I might need a bone marrow transplant. It feels really good to know that an organization is working so hard to find a donor for me. Working with Gift of Life has been a pleasure. They helped us every step of the way, They've helped us run our donor drives. They've helped underwrite financially the cost of many of our donor drives. And for us, that's a huge, huge piece of the puzzle. It just gives you, you know, a lot of comfort to know that there's an organization like Gift of Life to help you navigate these waters. My late brother Solomon Weil needed a transplant, but no one in our family was a match. We turned to the Gift of Life for help. Within two weeks, over 17,000 people were tested. 5,000 people in Williamsburg, Brooklyn alone, the largest single drive ever. I truly don't know if I would have known as much and been as strong and ready to face the challenges we had to face if it wasn't for Gift of Life. Gift of Life has just done a wonderful job and it's through that organization that we found a donor for Brian and it was an organization that I had never heard of and I'm just glad that we know them now. I will forever be grateful the Gift of Life organization for all the hard work that they do and the heartfelt warmth that they spread not only through the United States but throughout the world. We watch Gift of Life grow into a worldwide force with membership in World Marrow Donor Association and Bone Marrow Donors Worldwide and continue its unique mission to recruit donors of Jewish ancestry. Gift of Life is the first affiliated registry to join the National Marrow Donor Program and has been instrumental in helping us develop that membership concept. The Sheba Medical Center is now the largest transplant center in Israel and a very high percentage of the bone marrow and stem cell donors that donate to Sheba are from the Gift of Life registry. Over the years, Gift of Life has been a pioneer in utilizing the latest cutting-edge technologies to realize their goals. I remember when I first talked to Jay about doing bloodless specimen collections using buckle swabs. And he didn't hesitate to become the first bone marrow registry in the United States to utilize this painless procedure routinely. No more needles at bone marrow drives. Although Gift of Life is not the largest bone marrow repository in the world, it is probably the most efficient such organization. This shortens the search process for donors and of course can mean a difference between life and death for some of our patients. One of the exciting new options that we've had in working with the Gift of Life Registry is being able to use a feature online in real time called MatchQuest. My transplant coordinator can go online and get an instantaneous reading on any potential matches that exist within the Gift of Life Registry. 
Nothing could be simpler, nothing could be more reassuring for our patients than to be able to show them the results that quickly. That's the beauty of MatchQuest. I partnered with Ruth and Bernie Madoff, who've taken leadership roles uh, on the trustees of the university, and uh, they brought me together with Jay Feinberg um, to talk about the extraordinary work that Gift of Life was pursuing. I played the, the best and most profoundly Jewish role of all. I was a matchmaker, and I connected the leadership of Gift of Life to the leadership of Hillel. The partnership for both organizations is an amazing opportunity. For a gift of life, it provides easy access to thousands of young, healthy Jewish students who can become part of this bone marrow registry and be involved in it for another 50 years, which is incredible. And subsequently, AE Pi Fraternity became involved, Birthright Israel, and Kedma. Other groups are also becoming involved, and it's turned into something just fantastic. This past winter at the Birthright Israel program in Israel, when we had the mega event, and I saw all the young people going to register for the Gift of Life program, I said to myself, there's another dimension. Even though Gift of Life worked with us <laughs> tremendously, we were unable to find a match for Dennis. But due to new technology Dennis did have on December 15th, a double umbilical cord stem cell transplant. And as you can see as we sit here today, he's doing marvelously well. Cord blood transplantation has been a relatively recently introduced, but now very exciting new form of stem cell that can be used for hematopoietic stem cell transplantation and has been associated with some very exciting early results. We are particularly pleased and impressed that the Gift of Life Registry has been able to put together a program that will sponsor an extensive collection of cells, particularly from patients with Jewish ancestry. Parents will have the opportunity to now use this program to donate their children's cord blood, not having to throw it away or bank it for high fees. Last year, I attended my first donor recipient gala and saw the impact that this magical organization has on both donors and recipients. It was a truly amazing experience for me, unlike any other dinner I ever attended. Partners for Life Gala is such a unique experience. We've all attended uh, benefits, parties, galas, fundraisers, but you've never experienced the energy and joy and the jubilation when a donor and recipient meet for the first time. It's important for people all over the world to support the Gift of Life Foundation because we're saving lives. Our family has been personally touched by the mission of Gift of Life and has since come to realize its importance for the Jewish people all over the world. That's why we support it. Giving financial support to Gift of Life is so much different from most other charitable organizations because with Gift of Life you really can almost immediately see a result. Hundreds of lives, you know, are being saved um, by, by the uh, collections that Gift of Life does every year. Spread the word, get other people to be tested, help organize drives, volunteer, help raise money, give money. Those are the things that we need to do. Uh, the Talmud says you save one life, you save the world. Hello? You saved a lot of worlds. This is the 10th anniversary. What do I say? Mazel tov, congratulations. May you live to 120. We hope and pray that you will have many, many more years of life saving and life giving. Mazel tov. We're looking forward to the next 10 years together of partnership. Happy anniversary. Yasha Koach, gift of life on 10 years of saving lives. I want to wish you all a mazal tov and a happy 10th anniversary and wishing you much success in the future of saving lives. Jay, may you and the Gift of Life Foundation go from strength to strength. And then finally, I just want to say I, I'm determined to have a match of my own, and that's to have Jay Feinberg matched with a nice young Jewish girl. I mean, he is a great catch. Happy 10th anniversary to Gift of Life. We wish you the very best for the future and look forward to many more wonderful accomplishments. Mazal tov, happy anniversary, and thanks again from all of us in Israel.
gift of life. I wish you a very happy 10th anniversary and many, many more. Happy anniversary, gift of life! So the miracle of the recovery of Jay Feinberg has begotten other miracles.